Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Modern Ukrainian Homestead. Uh, let me give you a short update, because that's kind of interesting. I remodeled all those three to actually work now in 48 volt system, and they all go now, not in 24, but in 48 volt. Why I did this? Because I'm actually preparing to uh, move everything to be unified and to have the lithium batteries and there I have like 48 volt battery bank and that's a very interesting thing as you may see that I have actually changed all the controllers they all are now because here the, the, the one that I had recently was 1224 right now it's 2448 48 volt same as here uh, the ones that I shown you from the previous video about the controllers and this one uh, currently this one is S3, this one is self-made, and this one is the M3. Let me show you where exactly they are located. So the S3 is this one, the self-made is that one, and the M3 goes here. Um, what am I surprised about? I'm surprised that I can see that the tiny one, the S3 one, actually manages uh, to get to production. Okay, let me stop this video and I will switch the, the light on. It will be so much better to uh, to show you the, the controller views. Hold on a sec. Okay, now we are back. I have the light on. And well, uh, you may clearly see that actually it even gets to charge once going to 24, getting to 24 volts. That's for the S3. That's a very, very tiny limit. It's, it's really on the edge. But do it right now, look. I mean, seriously, it's it's like nothing. It's like nothing. The the, the big guy, the FT three thousand. I will be changing this controller soon, very 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 soon too. It actually all also on the edge of getting to production. We are you see right now twenty like it's very edge. And same applies here to the self made one. As soon as it gets actually to twenty two volts, maybe we'll be able to see this moment. Uh, it will actually, you will see the charge going in here. No, not really. And that's for 48 volt system. You can see this here, absolutely clearly. It says 48. No, uh, actually this one got to, to, to this, but zero watts because, well, I don't know how they do this, but apparently I even switched them with, pla uh, switch, switch places, like literally, uh, I, I didn't believe that they could do this. I switched places. And from what I see now, they adjust somehow themselves to the type of wind turbine you have. Because they definitely, both of them, they apply a different amount of current to those very, very different generators and those very, very different wind turbines. The tiny one and the slightly bigger one. Um, I mean, once they were going to 20 plus volts. Let's check how the M3 goes. Oh yeah, this one is in charge mode. You may clearly see it actually starts charging a little bit le like at, at 22 volts. So that's why it's still in g getting some charge into the batteries. And that is something I was, I'm really amazed about. Because, well, it works. The flashing sign of the battery, it means that the controller think it's, it's, it's under charge, it's under voltage. That's because these two are draining. This one actually, no, it didn't get on. Uh, but this one actually drains everything that you can from it. But it keeps it relatively at normal level, like 47 point, uh, 47, zero, yeah. So, did it pick up production? Yes, no, no, yes. Let's see. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, this one, you, you've seen it? It just started, like, just got it over, over 21 volt. Come on, yeah, you've seen it? The charge sign appeared. Why does it show fluctuates the wattage uh, once you're on the edge, on the limit? That's because the problem is uh, it has like it actually gets the charge out of the uh, the, the current out of the the power out of the wind turbine and it puts it into capacitors, and at some point it like gathers into it and then immediately pushes it out. So that's why you see it from one from zero to twenty, zero to twenty. Once we are in under voltage mode, it still keeps getting that power being used. Um, I don't know for what exactly, but it does. That's what that's how it works. 
But I mean, yeah, seriously, that's the wind. Uh, like nothing, absolutely nothing. And like the turbines are actually not performing well because they don't have uh, the wind to, 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 to actually go. But they, they rotate a little bit, but not like really, really much. So my message for you is definitely a 48 volt system is worth it. It's just like uh, literally, literally so much better. And in terms of controllers, I don't know, it's still too li a little bit uh, too, too little time to decide what happened, but um, I feel that this one has got much more potential. I will actually check it and I will actually swap the turbines later on. Because my next update is I'm going to use on a self-made the much bigger wind wheel and I will swap them in places. So M3 will go down here and the self-made will be put up here. Like just like the, the not not that not that bigger, uh, not that much difference, but still uh, it will have instead of 165 meters diameter, it will have 2.3. That'll be somewhere in about um, within several weeks. Uh, and like that's the difference I hope it will make uh, to production a lot. But I mean, given it will have the bigger wind wheel, because right now you see it actually got to production and, and oh, now it's a st st stop spinning. Uh, it, will, it will mean that it will have to have a much serious uh, thing to control production out of it. And well, M3 is spinning faster, that's why it gets to, to the higher voltage easier but uh, I pretend to overcome it with increasing a little bit the blade length instead of 0 0.81 that will be 0. Uh, that will be 1.1 I think meters so a little bit more let's see I can cut them always let's start with the bigger and see if that will be very good enough um what else what else nothing so far I had to remodel actually this thing, uh, this all now works for 48 volt system. Um, I replaced the cables. I made them actually to be two in parallel because previously it was what was only one. So right now I have two and square mil square millimeter millimeters, and I mean uh, they all are like decisive for everything else. So this one goes for taking out everything, and it drags to these two inverters. So I hope that I will be able to increase the current out of it because currently it's on uh, how much, how much, how much, how much, how much. It's currently set on 40 amps, I believe. Uh, but I will act, I want to get it to be at least 60. Uh, I mean, this cable is good enough for, for 60, still it's 10 millimeter, uh, square millimeters in, 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 in thickness. But I mean, these two can bear 65 amps only, so I'm giving like five amps extra and a couple of uh, amps that can go, go into the battery. So that's, so that's my plan. But before lithium, um, that's the only way I can actually like uh, take the maximum out of uh, solar that I have uh, working on this inverter. So yeah, uh, let's check again. Now the wind died, I mean, seriously. I just was showing you something nice and like the wind is, but uh, yeah, 1.5, 1.1, nothing, no wind, no wind, but still, I mean, it rotates, actually this one starts spinning, let's check, 99, will it get to 21, yeah, not, not 22, you need 22 volts, that's the VDC. On the AC side, it's different. I've been measuring that. And uh, yeah, you see, charge appeared after 22. Immediately after 22 volts is reached, the charge appears and it actually starts showing the correct wattage out of it. And well, I mean, the, 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 the power, the amount of power it takes out of this wind turbine is quite good. It's quite good for for such a small wind turbine. I mean, that's that's an amazing result. Uh, on no wind situation, <laughs> still 1.1. I mean, that was obviously a gust because the, like this one cannot register everything because like it shows like some something average. It was probably it was the gust up to three, I don't know, maybe 3.2 meters per second. That's my guess. I don't know. But uh, again, yeah, it spins more. 28, 29 volts and like the wattage, I mean, 
it gets the amperage out of it like really nicely really i swapped them and and it adjusted the amperage on its own it doesn't take that much amps out of this one of the tiny s3 i i'm shocked i i didn't i don't know how do they do this but apparently there is something inside that makes it work and adjusting your, itself to the wind turbine um not sure how they do this but but it just works like that i didn't believe it could happen but i just like literally i will take a look at this a little bit more actual this one's spin you see 70 watts 80 yeah, yeah that's nice it can it was yeah that's what we're racing with 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 the wind 2.7 like that's nothing but I mean, if that wattage can, can, can be achieved in a 48 volt system, I mean, that's perfect. That's actually perfect. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will keep an eye on it and give you some good reasonable update. I mean, of course, I will cover this, don't look at it, but yeah, just a temporary thing. Ah, yeah, that was the gust. That was four, maybe five. Then we was shooting eight, uh, 80 watts that, that, that we have seen just like before. Uh, a fraction ago yeah anyways uh, guys i'm giving you the links to these controllers this one this one and my new update is that i will not be only providing you the links to the lee express where i got them but also to the amazon where you can buy same things uh you, I, I just don't like claim to be the most exact because like literally on aliexpress i'm giving you the one that i bought because i'm buying it there but on amazon you can have the same items just like check yourself for the specifications if they are exactly the same because i might not be 100 percent correct about this i'm just like giving you the example that this thing exists and like that they uh are also present uh, on, on on the market on the u.s market specifically because for europe i mean go for aliexpress and buy it there why what for would you actually look for something else because like that's the cheapest and probably the best uh, price wise option anyways uh, thanks for watching and see you see you later